The following is a special multimedia presentation from NorthJerseySports.com. Brought to you by the Bergen County Education Association. Bergen County Public Schools work because the BCEA works with you. It's Hockey Night! NorthJerseySports.com original multimedia series talking all things North Jersey hockey. This is season one, episode 575, it feels like, <laughs> or at least that would be the uh, perfect world if my co-host had his way. Is that correct, Corey Robinson? Uh, every other night schedule would be good. I'm just, you know, winter classic coming up stadium series. I'm still waiting to see if we get on this radio's row, but uh, so far, no good. <laughs> and the other voice you hear giggling at Corey Robinson is the Maven, Mawa head coach Kevin Sabella. What's going on, Kevin? Not much, not much. Ready for a big Wednesday night. I saw the Passaic County final. Congrats to West Milford. First time, I think, since mid 2000s. And then, uh, and then we got the big clash of Burton County teams on, uh, on Wednesday night, Ramsey and uh, Bosco. So looking forward to that. Yes, let's uh, set up the show tonight, and it is a compressed one because we are bumping up against the normal time slot of the wrestling show, NorthJerseySports.com's original multimedia series talking all things North Jersey wrestling. So we will have Dan Fry, the West Milford head coach, on just a couple hours after the Highlanders won their first county championship since 2006. It will be interesting to get his thoughts uh, on that accomplishment. It, it happened quick. Tournament started Friday. The crown champions on Monday. And also, we will have one half of the coaching, well, the guys who will coach against each other. Ramsey's Bob Toy will join us to preview the Bergen County Final in an all-Ramsey hockey final. Corey, that should be interesting. should be a great game. It's uh, Whenever you go into these type of tournaments and you have the one and the two seed playing, it's, uh, you know, it makes it makes really for a great night of hockey. And, you know, in this case, you could have – you know, very easily, you know, you could look at it and say it's the best non-public against the best public in the state. And obviously that's debatable because there's a lot of, you know, there's the Del Bartons and the Chathams and the Summits and Morristowns and so forth. But th- this is, you know, two of the best, you know, five, six teams in the state of New Jersey playing. And it's going to be a great, great game. And uh, the Ice Walk is the place to be Wednesday night if you're a high school hockey fan. No doubt about it. You know what? It just I'm, I'm so hockeyed up. Well, I play air hockey ball, hockey burn, hockey bubble, hockey field, hockey floor, hockey ice, hockey kitchen, hockey room, hockey motor, hockey table, hockey twist, hockey. Hockey, 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 Kev. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I, I, I like that. Very interesting. Um, no, I, I'm I'm looking forward to Wednesday night. Hey, listen, I have the privilege of of working in the middle school in Ramsey. Um, I've I've seen the community of Ramsey how they rally behind their sports teams, and this is no different. Um, you know, Bosco obviously being in Ramsey. I mean, this is going to be it's going to be a great a great game. I mean, you got two two teams that know each other well. I'm sure a lot of these uh, players play on travel teams together or against each other, and uh, it, it's really going to be a battle. I, I don't see it being more than a two goal game, but uh, obviously you never know. You got uh, both. You got depth on both teams. You got good coaching, good goaltenders, good defense. So who knows? Special teams could play a role. And you know, anytime you get in these games, guys. You know, you're going to have emotions. You know, does that play a role? Is one team going to come out and take a couple silly penalties? We'll see. But uh, I'm ready to go on uh, Wednesday night, and uh, and we'll see. Kev, are you happy that this is a condensed version of It's Hockey Night so we don't go back and recap the entire tournament starting from round one? Yes, I am. I am very happy we're doing that. <laughs> when, when did you get your first night, good night's sleep since uh, last Wednesday? <sighs> well, from the Texas and calls from Corey, uh, I'm not too quite <laughs> sure when I got my last good night's rest. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to jump in, but uh, we don't really need a state of the T-bird report because he did have another game over the weekend. But we don't want to go there right now. No, no, you don't. You don't. You don't want to go there. I certainly don't want to go there. <laughs> All right, we're going to skip the Mawa portion of this week's show and move right into our first guest. He is Ramsey head coach Bob Toy, hot on the heels of his team's three nothing win over Glenrock in the Bergen County tournament semifinals. Coach, congratulations and thanks for joining us here on It's Hockey Night. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be on with you guys. Well, you you will forever hold the distinction as the first guest ever on It's Hockey Night, and now you have a new title as the first repeat guest on It's Hockey Night <laughs> History too. So you must be doing something right over there uh, at Ramsey. Just talk about you know the semifinals. Uh, people were waiting to see that public school matchup, and you guys got by a very hot Glenrock team, three nothing. 
Yeah, it was uh, it was a, it was a hard fought game. Uh, right right from right from the drop of the puck, uh, they came out real physical, and we were web- able to weather the storm. Um, we had we 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 scored probably midway through the first period on, on just an absolutely phenomenal effort from Alex Whalen. I, I still to this moment don't know how the puck went in the net. Uh, Corey, you were there. I don't know if you had a chance to see the goal. Um, but I was Alex sitting was down in that end. Yeah, it was just just a great play, great great was, play, yeah, great he effort. Was flat, he was flat on his stomach and, and swiped at the puck, and it, it's like he it got over the goalie and, and landed in the net. I, I, it was just a, a, a little play. a little Ovechkin, uh, a little Ovechkin like with that goal there. Yeah, yeah, and and I think that may have stunned Glenrock a little bit, and then we were able to uh, uh, get some uh, get some scoring from other areas uh, on deflections, and, and we were fortunate enough to be able to to shut Glenrock down in terms of their offensive pressure on our goaltender. Corey, I can't believe you were outside the hospitality room. Um, I was not. I was uh, I was inside the hospitality room, looking out the window. Okay, now I know what end of the ice it happened on. Okay. <laughs> Coach, um, one thing that's uh, you know becoming evident is is the play of your goaltender. Um, he wasn't tested too much in the in the first round game against St. Joe's. Um, he was tested a little bit last night, and he was um, you know right where he needed to be on every shot. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about him and what he means to your team? Yeah, Tyler is is probably one of our is, is probably Bergen County's or a North Jersey's best kept secret as far as goaltenders. Uh, we haven't really been tested extensively on, from our goaltender uh, standpoint, uh, and except for a hand, uh, maybe a couple games where the shot total got up into the twenties. And uh, Ty, Tyler's is as good. Tyler's as good as it gets. Uh, the, if when, when teams get get through our defense. And, and they have to go up on number one. It's it, he, he's formidable, and and I feel we're very comfortable with with him in the pipes, and and our guys do too. So, uh, like I said, best kept secret in in uh, North Jersey hockey, and and um, you know. As, I don't think I don't think he's too much it. of a secret to the Maven. Maven, do you uh, want to follow up with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm laughing over here of a secret. I, he's not too much of a secret, but he he, he is. Uh, <laughs> He's a he's a he's a heck of a player, as of all your players. And uh, coach, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Um, obviously, going to be the best team that you, that you've seen all year. And for Ramsey's sake, what, what do you guys have to start off? What are you looking for for your team to uh, come out of the gates on Wednesday night? Well, we we have to be ready to go at the drop of the puck. We're, we know Don Bosco is going to come out fast, right right from the drop of the puck, and we have to be ready to to, to receive that tempo. And be able to counter and 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 push the puck back into their zone uh, with with that type of tempo as well. If we if we go out on the ice and when we're just not ready to go right from the drop of the puck, we're going to be on our heels. So so our guys have to be ready to absolutely be in top gear right at the drop of the puck. Um, these guys know each other very well. Both schools, both both uh, teams, they know each other personally. And they know each other uh, as hockey players, so there's really no secrets between the two teams. Uh, yeah. And so the mystique of playing each other really ha- there is none. It's it's two very good hockey teams uh, teeing it up, and and it's, I think it's going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I, and coach, I, I think you will need no. You're not going to have to research any motivational tactics. I think you know uh, Ramsey and Don Bosco prep share the same. Zip code, both in Ramsey. Uh, it's the public school versus the private school. I mean, it, might the problem be trying to dial your kids back a little bit? You know, they're going to try to hit the ice. They're going to try to run through the glass. Yeah, and and that's and I was just about to say that Corey that that our job won't be necessarily to motivate them. It's going to be it's going to be holding the reins back a bit and just keeping them on on task. Yeah. Um, but both hockey teams are, especially Don Bosco, they're so well coached. They're 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 going to come out. They're going to come out disciplined, and they're going to come out flying. Uh, it'll be on myself and our coaching staff to make sure that that we prepare our players uh, for that for that same for that same environment. And uh, uh, we're going to be working on that for the next for the next two days. And hopefully, if the weather cooperates right. and 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 doesn't and doesn't delay anything, uh, you know, we'll be ready to go on on Wednesday night. Go ahead, Corey. 
Yeah, I, this is the third year of the tournament, and obviously, uh, you know, Don Bosco's won the first two years, and they beat two good teams. They beat Tenafly a couple of years ago, and they beat Paramus Catholic last year, and both those hockey teams were, were obviously very good teams. I think this year your team comes in more battle-tested than the Tenafly and the um, Paramus Catholic teams. Um, is there anything you're looking for that you think that you, you're, you know, just a, kind of a follow-up question to what Corey just said. Is there anything, in, you know, specifically that you're looking for that you, you feel like you might be able to, uh, you know, exploit and use to your advantage on Wednesday? Uh, I don't know that you would get, get to exploit anything on Don Bosco. They're, they're, so, they're so solid from top to bottom, from their goaltender right through the, the blue liners and, and their forwards. Uh, we're going to have to play our very best game of the year, and – and if we do that, if we play our very best game of the year, we'll be right there with them. Uh, and like I said earlier, being that we have such familiarity with, with Don Bosco, uh, we, we had an opportunity to scrimmage them earlier in the year, so we've been on the ice with them. A lot of our guys play on the same club team as, as a lot of the Don Bosco players. So they're, they're, I want to say that that mystique of, of uh, not knowing doesn't exist for us. We, 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 we have familiarity with, with Don Bosco. Our coaching staffs are very close together. We, we all know each other personally. So, so there's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a comfort level there that maybe Tenafly and Glenrock didn't have over the past two years. And, and so really the only thing we have to overcome is ourselves and, and be prepared to go. And, and, that, that's what we'll be focusing on the next on the next two days. Well, it's going to definitely be a lot of fun to see. I mean, I, I think you know it's going to be a good matchup. You, I think you guys are you're peaking at the right time. This compressed format of this county tournament, you know, you play, you play, you play, and you you get there. So you know, I think you, you're in form. They're in form. I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup there at the Ice Vault on Wednesday night. And Coach Bob Toy, the first. Two-time guest here on It's Hockey Night. We certainly wish you the best of luck, and really, no matter what happens, congratulations on getting this far. I mean, you know, I know uh, that you want to finish it off with a win and everything else, but it, it is the public versus the private. So, no matter what happens, you're the public school champion of Bergen County this year. Well, well, thanks, <laughs> thank, thanks for that. But you know, we still have one more job at hand, and uh, and I'm sure Greg feels the same way. And and the, being two-time uh, champs, they're not gonna they're not gonna want to let that that trophy go very easily. So uh, anybody who can come out to the game on Wednesday will be uh, in for a treat, and you'll get to see, in my opinion, the best non-public school in the state. I know I know they haven't beaten the green team yet, but but I, I believe that Don Bosco is the best team in the state, and uh, we'll be certainly honored to be on the ice with them, and and we'll give them. We'll give them a run for their money. That's for certain. And if you do stop by the Ice Vault on Wednesday night, be sure to stop by the hospitality room and say hi to our co-host, Corey Robb. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, good stuff. Thanks again, and we'll, we'll talk to you soon, uh, like Wednesday. <laughs> you got it, guys. Thanks, thanks for the phone call. Well, from a Bergen County finalist to a Passaic County champion, as we switch from Ramsey head coach Bob Toy to... Dan Fry, the head coach of the Passaic County champion West Milford Highlanders. Coach, congratulations, and uh, thanks for joining us here on short notice on It's Hockey Night. I'm super happy to be back with you guys. Uh, we talked to you before it all started. You were the four seed. What's happened since then? I mean, it's it's been a great run. Yeah, it was absolutely great. Um, I give you guys total credit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we accepted um, wholeheartedly. We were hoping you were going to say that. We were talking absolutely. about that amongst ourselves. <laughs> I get that a lot, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I heard. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, no, um, we, we came in, uh, you know, re- ready to go. We kind of had a little hot streak going. We got close to Wayne Hills over the week last weekend. And, uh, you know, the kids are ready to prove a point. And and uh, we did the other day, and, and the scary part was was we had to finish the job today, and 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 we did. Go ahead, Kev. Well, Coach, what what you know? Obviously, you got the big win today. What was important for today? Um, I saw that you guys were up. Um, I saw the Paul obviously cut the lead down there to four to three. What did you do? Uh, anything specific to jump out to that four to one lead? 
you know, we um, we decided that we weren't going to do anything. Uh, you know, they have a couple big scores um, that you absolutely have to respect. Sure. Um, we've kind of we've kind of fell into a system that we're really we're happy with. Um, you know, we don't have tons of depth. We only have two forward lines, but um, they've been complementing each other really well. Um, we, we came out and we said, guys, like let's let's play this fast pace. Like we can't go on a on a, a scoring battle with them. But we knew, you know, we knew we had the hot goalie, and uh, and and guys back checked real hard, and 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 that was we told them that was the key. We had to back check until uh, until that guy had, didn't have the puck anymore, and and that's what we did. Nice. Go ahead, Corey. Coach, what? Um, obviously, your goaltending was stellar throughout the tournament, uh, especially in the Wayne Hills game. Um, just speak yep. about Ross's performance, you know, straight throughout the tournament, because you know you had a. Tough matchup with Clifton, you, and you, you got through there, and you know the Wayne Hills game, and then obviously a championship game. So, what 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 did Ross do for you in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, fortunately enough, I came in three years ago, and I had Ross as a sophomore, and you know, I, the first year he had games where he was making sixty, seventy saves, and we were losing by eight goals. You know, um, so it finally felt like this year was a year where everybody kind of we had the depth and the talent to kind of support Ross. Um, he's been supporting us for such a long time, and, uh, and then you know, finally he, he was he was as good as he usually is, um, and and we had some four defensemen that just played really great, and we put some pucks in the net. And uh, when you have great goaltending in a short tournament like that, good things happen. You know, coach, it, it is a it's a compressed format. I mean, we talked to you last week. The thing was going to get started on Friday. You go, you know, it, it did start on Friday, and it's over on Monday. And for a team that was playing as well as you guys were, is that compressed format an advantage? Because you can just keep right on rolling. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're we're definitely riding the momentum here. I think the one kid was saying they they uh, they picked the new song in the locker room, and I think he said we're six zero and one when they play that song. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're uh, you know we're we're uh, it's a happy group of kids, and they they worked really hard, and and you know now the scary part is is that you know we went from zero four and one, and now we're seven seven and two, and we're starting to we're starting to look at states and and, and you know getting back to that point too. So we're we're happy, we're celebrating, but we're we're only halfway through the season really. <laughs> Go ahead, Corey. Coach, the um. You know, the game earlier in the season, you played DePaul really close. Um, you played Wayne Hills close last year, uh, last, uh, last week. So you were obviously, in a, you know, building up to, to something like this. Last year, looking at the results, DePaul really put it to you a few of the times you played. So how, how good yeah. does it feel to, how, how good does it feel to get, get that monkey off your back a little bit? Yeah, you know, I, I hate to bring up the word, you know, public and private school, um, but, I, I got to be honest. This is a huge one for us. This is the first time we've beat the ball since I've been the coach. And uh, you know, every year we have a few guys that say, "Oh, Lakeland's the big rivalry." And I always kind of try to settle them down and say, "Listen, guys, the only school in our area that kids are going to leave West Milford to go to is the ball. So if you want to play big against any team, the ball's the team to play big against. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully this uh, you know keeps some homegrown talent in, in West Milford." You know, and sends the message that we're we're on the scene again. Dan Fry, the head coach of the Passaic County champion West Milford Highlanders, first county championship since 2006, fourth overall in West Milford history. Congratulations! Thanks for joining us again here on It's Hockey Night. And listen, we are watching the results, and every time something is worth talking about, we're having you back on. Coach, I appreciate it. Yeah, Cor, if I'm not mistaken, there was a Super Bowl Sunday matchup between the Maven and uh, and Coach Fry that we were invited to uh, have like some kind of brunch with these guys. Yeah. Is that, yeah. is that <laughs> something that do I remember it's, that or that's, we, that's right. not only uh, not only is Coach Fry a good coach, he's a good cook. So we're going right. to take advantage <laughs> of that. We well, shall. We shall. His last name is Fry. I mean, it's yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, never heard that one before, guys. So. Yeah, no, I, I know. Well, you know, we've only spoken twice, so I figured, you know, yeah. I, at least I saved it for round two. <laughs> <laughs> but Coach, yeah, great stuff. Congratulations. And we'll, uh, we're in a compressed format here tonight on It's Hockey Night. We're going to do a longer show oh. later on in the week, and we're going to have some – you know what? We're going to try to get some of your kids on and talk about this a little bit further. But for tonight, we wanted to get you on to talk about the greatest, a great accomplishment, and uh, we appreciate your time. 
Oh, thanks so much for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Well, interesting stuff there with both coaches, Bob Toy from Ramsey and also West Milford's Dan Fry. And, Kev, I thought he did the right thing by giving us full credit for the Highlanders' run through the Passaic County Championship. Of course. I wouldn't expect anything different from Coach Fry and, uh, and West Milford. Nothing different. Corey, I know that you love the It's Hockey Night, and nobody loves It's Hockey Night as much as I do. So this is this episode we just wanted to get some pertinent information out there and then move on. But later on in the week, and we're looking at Thursday night, it will be after the Bergen County tournament is played, we will do a full show, which will include a player of the week, a uh, our uh, updated high school hockey rankings, and your favorite segment, the grade eights of the NHL. Gotta love the grade eight. Gotta love the grade eight. I, was, I had the uh, hockey night, uh, not hockey night, the uh, – PSN hockey show on from uh, Toronto, and they were doing their own rankings. And I was saying, these guys are copying what we do now. This ain't good. They must be listening. <laughs> Somebody must be listening up in Toronto. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, who's not listening to It's Hockey Night on NorthJerseySports.com? I, I can't even imagine such a thought. There you go. All right, so there will be more of it. We will catch you later on in the week. This show is fun. Kev, thank you. No problem, man. No problem. I'm, I'm ready for Thursday. I got a little surprise for everybody for my uh, my grade eight on Thursday. I think my boys are going to crack the top eight. I'll leave it at that. All right, Ooh. and and Corey, how, uh, we'll see how the bees do between now and then. Beat the Kings today, three two. Got a point against the Blackhawks. We're 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 starting to turn the corner. Follow the leader.